And when you meet those people, they're not who they appear to be or who um, the the general audience or, or the general consensus is that they are. Um, so I think it's important, yes, to network, but be careful about who you attach yourself to. Oh, let's go. Oh, okay. uh, what 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 do you what are some red flags that people can look out for then? Hmm. Some red flags would be people who do a lot of talking, but you never see their work. You never actually see them doing notary assignments, or you never actually see them, you know, just in the field um, like the rest of us are. Um, I think a lot of um, another red flag would be if you if you see them in certain because you know you're vetting these people. Hopefully, you're not just saying, "Hey, you know, I like her hair. Let me go ahead and network with her." So as you're looking at these different people, um, you're looking at are they actually out in the field doing the work? Um, do they have like are they continuing to educate themselves? Um, do they have mentors? Um, I think different things of this nature is, is very important. Um, and then if they're in proximity to you and you're able to connect with them, before you put them in front of a client, go have a cup of coffee with them, invite her to brunch or him to brunch or whatever, and sit down and kind of see if their um, idea if their, their standard, their ethic is the same as yours and make sure that you guys click because like it was mentioned earlier today that you know when the person goes out, they're representing you. So if someone calls Notary Nation and they're asking for a notary and then I send them out and something goes wrong or they're dressed crazy or their language is crazy or whatever the situation is, they're not gonna contact them, 